your bill. So nice long reach. Body position is pretty good. And comfortable breathing. Oh, a couple things we, we discussed in our lesson was one, you're reaching low. So when you start that stroke, you're just missing out on a, a bit of water that you could otherwise grab. On occasion, your your head goes lower than it needs to, so you don't really want your head to drive all the way under the water. You want to keep it at the surface. Kick looks comfortable. And uh, you know, I can tell from above the water and then from reviewing the, the film what's going on with your pull. They're both mostly straight arm pull, so you're, that's, that's good. The better uh, position would be the high elbow catch. Um, you know, that's, what, that's what really enables you to pull forward with a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Applying a lot of power you know, correctly. What happens with the straight arm pull is that the first bit of the stroke you really pulling water down or pushing water down so it doesn't doesn't really move you forward that well your rotation here is okay your streamline is good uh, rotation I think will improve if you're reaching forward as well as you can and then uh, with each stroke you just try to finish the stroke so push all the way through the water with uh, the finishing arm at the end of the video there's sort of a frame by frame analysis now the point that you're reaching to with both arms is good, so you're reaching directly in front of your shoulder, that's where you want to reach. And the line you're pulling back is good. You're just you're mostly just pulling straight back. So two things really for you to work on, reaching a little higher in the water and then getting more of a catch with both your arms. That's the, the summary of the lesson. So here you, you can see how low you're going. So you want to reach in front as opposed to down. And you see how your head is driving under the water there. Keep your head you know, so the crown, crown of your head is at the surface. You won't have to uh, raise up as much. It's not terrible, but when you're turning to breathe, you're having to lift your head a little bit. And if you can keep your head a little higher, you won't have to do that. You may, uh, you may find that your lower body does sink a little more, you know, when you initially change that, but you're going to get a stronger pull out of it, which will translate into more speed, which will raise your hips back up. But, you know, position, rotation, breathing all look comfortable. So just a couple things to work on. That's good. That's a good problem to have. And here, just looking at the line you're pulling back. When you turn in to breathe, your, your right arm crosses over just slightly. It's not bad, though. So you want those arms to stay, you know, off. The left arm stays on the left side. Right arm stays on the, left, the right side. So here, just had you working on reaching forward more. that already looks more efficient to me. So you're getting more more water with each pull just by doing this. I think this is the same thing we might have talked a bit about trying to catch a bit more. So 
So if you just watch this and then go back and watch your initial stroke, you know, this this looks more efficient. I didn't time it, but it's conceivable that you're faster just doing this. And it's it's really just because with each pull, even though if you're if you're pulling down somewhat, you know, doing a straight arm catch, there is forward momentum and some of that pull is, is push, pulling you forward. So just by reaching up a little higher in the water, you make that difference. All right, and then uh, one arm drill, just so you can see that you, you do get some of the catch angle here. So the catch, when you're watching above water like this, if you can see the, the hand and forearm angle down or somewhat disappear from view, that means that your hand and forearm have gone vertical to the bottom of the pool and, and you're doing it right there. Uh, that's what you want to do with every stroke. And same thing here. So this is just trying to uh, reach forward and do the catch, not a drill. All right, ready, go. And this is the one that we timed. So just thinking about trying to reach forward and, and get a good catch. Trying to swim with uh, good speed. I mean, you did it in right about 45 seconds. Higher reach and high elbow catch. And then next up is a series of still frames. So on the left arm, you know, coming in, extending down, extend that forward like you were. Good rotation. And then essentially a, uh, a straight arm pull. And the way you look at that is if your upper arm and forearm are on the same line, through that first half of the stroke, which they are. That's essentially a straight arm pull. With When you do a high elbow, you'll see that upper arm will be directed forward, but the hand and forearm will be angling down or vertical to the bottom. And pretty good finish to the stroke as well. And then the right arm, same sort of, uh, really the same thing. So you're, you're even on both arms. So entering, you know, good extension just directed down as opposed to forward, and then more or less a straight arm pull here. This was, you know, at the beginning before we uh, really discussed your form, so I'm sure it already would look different. So that one arm drill, uh, the doggy paddle drill, some fist drill catch-up drill but you know you don't have to have your hands touch those are really the things just think about rolling that shoulder and getting that elbow up